All right, welcome back again. Uh, hopefully you're getting pretty good at your uh, boilerplate steps. Uh, hopefully you've got a lot of links uh, that help you do things um, and, and actually make that process pretty bearable. Uh, so let's go ahead and start in on this app. Uh, let's just go ahead and kind of look at some of the routes that have to happen first. Uh, so now here I'm looking at the solution again. Um, so the first route is you can see that the, the naked domain uh, is actually my main page. So my main page has no path. It's just the naked domain. Um, if I choose to sign out, it takes me to a slash sign in uh, path. And then in addition to the sign in path, uh, I guess I've got to sign back in so I can show you this other path. Uh, there's, there's actually two paths. There's the naked domain, uh, which shows everybody's post. Uh, this little feature, sometimes it doesn't like to show my image. Um, you don't have to fix that because I didn't, um, but, but that's a little feature. Um, so there's the main app and then there's also the my post. So there's actually, I guess, three routes. There's the naked domain, uh, there's my post, uh, and then there's sign in. So let's go ahead and make some placeholders for those routes. Um, and so I've got my um, serving. Uh, so I'm serving in one tab and then I've got another tab open for doing other things. By the way, a neat trick you can do is you can uh, you can say like, what are some of the recent commands you've used. Uh, I guess I forgot how to say it. Uh, so it's just history and then some numbers. So you can see like some of the commands I've been running recently, right? So the uh, Angular Fire setup and things like that. Um, so what I wanted to do over here is I wanted to do uh, an ng generate uh, for some components. Uh, so we've got um, three components we want to make. Uh, I'm just going to call a main. Oops, component singular, not plural. Uh, so I'm going to call one main. I'm going to call one sign in. Uh, and then I'm going to call one uh, my post. Um, and you'll notice that mine are not generating spec files because I set that default uh, that I mentioned in the last video. And they're also using sassy CSS. So I just thought I'd have fun with a couple of those changes. Uh, so now I've got three components uh, that have been added. Uh, so main, my post, and sign in. Since these are all routes, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the plus naming convention on them. That doesn't really add anything, but eh, I saw it once that it was convention, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's also pretty easy to do. Uh, so you just add a plus to the folder path there, uh, and then you will need to fix the imports uh, that are over in your main module here. So they all need a plus uh, right there, right there, right there. Uh, cool. I kind of like to check that in as placeholder uh, routes. Um, and let's go ahead and add the, the app routing module. So the app routing module got added for you, um, whenever you whenever you put on hyphen hyphen routing. Um, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to add some routes. If you remember, uh, there's um, a snippet that can help you type a couple things. Uh, it's the uh, route path eager. Um, and so you just say what the path name is. Let's say in quotes there. Um, and so one path is going to be the naked domain. Uh, and I want it to go to the main component. Um, and then we'll have to auto import that. Um, Whenever you do the naked domain, it's also recommended that you put in a path match uh, flag of full. Um, and that's just to make sure that it doesn't accidentally match some later route. It won't, uh, but <laughs> best practice is easy to copy there. Let's do some other routes, uh, which do not necessarily need the path match full. Um, and one is the sign in route, uh, which is going to get the sign in component. Probably should have capitalized the I when I made it, but I'm not going to fix it now. And then in addition to the sign in component, we want a my post uh, component. So we've got a my post uh, component. I didn't capitalize the P there either. Now it's kind of over two today. Um, don't feel like fixing it. If you're if you're OCD enough, uh, I really didn't mean for that to be my post. Uh, so what I meant to type back over in terminal uh, was my post with a capital P. Um, I could fix it, but I'm not gonna. All right. So those are our paths. Uh, you could also optionally include another uh, wildcard path. Uh, so that'd be the path for star star, um, and it typically is going to do a redirect to. Um, and we'll just redirect it to the naked domain. 
Um, that's optional. I don't really care which way you do that. I think the last time I decided to let it crash if somebody went to a weird path, um, and here I decided to let it redirect to, it honestly just doesn't matter. Um, I don't think you actually need the slash there, though. I'll, I'll test it and see. All right, let's give it a shot with what we got. Uh, so we'll come over to our local host version. Um, and if I go to uh, the main page, you can see it says main works. So already a, a good sign. If I go to slash sign in, uh, it says sign in works. If I go to my post, uh, it says my post work. Um, if I go to Bob, uh, something different, uh, it should redirect me uh, to the naked domain. So cool. So those uh, basic routes are working. The only way I can get around right now is by typing into the URL. Uh, we can do a little better than that. So this is app routing. And I went through that fast because it's stuff we've done before. Uh, let's do a little bit of new stuff. Uh, so the new thing that I want to do first is I want to do routing uh, with a side nav. So whenever you're learning about something new, um, it's an Angular 2 component. Uh, you can just go learn and hear about side nav. Um, and you can see if you click on this, it kind of brings up a side navigation thing, uh, which is kind of cool. You can go in and you can look at some of the uh, HTML uh, and you can copy some of it out. Uh, and let's go kind of see what this looks like in integrating it with our app. Uh, so our app right now, our app component, uh, kind of looks like that. And it says that if you want a side nav, it should kind of look like this. Um, so their example had an example container. I'm going to take that off. Um, it had another class called example side nav. I'm going to take that off. Um, and then here it says jolly, <laughs> jolly good. Um, so I don't know quite what I want to do there. I'm just going to delete it. Uh, and then this thing was a button, right? So what this button was is it was the actual content. So I'm going to delete that button. Um, and what that button did is it actually had your main content. So I'm going to take my main content from here and put it where that button was. Uh, do some cleanup here. So here's kind of the structure of a side nav um, is that the the side nav kind of is a wrapper around all of your content, um, and it's got the side nav part here, and then it's got your actual like apps content here. Uh, in the side nav, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a toolbar in there too, uh, except for I'm going to make that one say options, uh, do a little auto format here. Now we could run it uh, with this, but without the CSS, it, it could potentially look uh, hideous. I guess there's no problem with running it. Let's just go ahead and see what happens here. Um, so nothing looked hideous, but also nothing showed up, right? Uh, it's because we don't have a way to open the side nav yet. So let's go ahead and uh, get a little bit farther on our side nav. And what we want to do is we want to have a button uh, to open it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this button uh, inside our MD toolbar. So it's just going to be a button. Um, and it's going to be an icon button. So we've used icon buttons before. Um, and then when you click it, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to run some JavaScript. I'm going to cheat a little bit, um, and I'm just going to kind of put like the commands right here. So we've got this local variable uh, to the side nav um, element, I guess I'll call it. Um, and so what we'll say is we'll say side nav, um, and it has things it can do. And one of the things it can do is, is dot toggle, uh, which you saw right here. So it says side nav dot open there. I'm going to choose to say side nav dot toggle. So it'll open if it's shut. It'll shut if it's open. Um, and what I want this button to be is I want it to be an MD icon. Uh, and the icon that we want is called menu. Uh, and I'll shut my button up. Uh, and now we'll give it a go. So now we should have a way to open and close this thing. Uh, so if I come back over here once it loads. Uh, cool, there it's loaded. So now I can click on this uh, and it comes over. Um, and there's some issues, right? Um, so one of the issues is that it says options and it comes over, which is cool. Um, but it's not really taking up the whole page the way I wanted it to. Um, also, my main works is kind of in white here, um, and I'm, I'm sure I can deal with that. Um, but let's do some CSS improvements. So let's come back over here. Let's go into our app component CSS, uh, and let's start adding some different rules. One rule that I want to add is I want to add a width uh, to my side nav. Uh, so I'm going to make it always be 200 pixels. So at present, it, um, it's only taking up how much space it needs. But if you add this, it'll, it'll give it a full 200 pixels. I just think that kind of looks a little bit better. Uh, the next thing I want to do uh, is fix the, uh, the full page. Now for this, I can actually borrow some things from, uh, from Angular Material. Um, and if you scroll down far enough in here, it'll say, uh, for a full screen, 
side nav, the recommended approach is to set up the DOM uh, with that to, to naturally take up the full space. So really you just need these rules. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and copy these rules. Uh, and then where I'm gonna stick these rules is these, you can see they're involving like HTML and body type rules like that. So I'm actually gonna put those over in my styles.css. And by putting them over here, you can actually grab like the HTML on the body. Um, and then it says material app, uh, MD side cap container and my content. Personally, I don't care if my content is full screen or not. I don't mind if it's shorter. So I'm just gonna take off that last one uh, and then see what we've got here. So now when you click it, you can see it takes up the whole page, which is cool. Um, our whole goal with this was to, to have a way that we can play with our routing now. Uh, so I'm going to need to put some things in this, uh, but you can see that it's looking pretty good. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and check this in as a placeholder uh, side nav. All the cool little sub features you learn when you do these apps. Um, so now let's go over here and let's, um, let's put some more things uh, in this uh, side nav area. Uh, and what I want to do is, uh, you can go look at this in the documentation, so there's a element called a nav list. Uh, so we're going to make a nav list. Uh, inside a nav list, uh, you need to put uh, things that have the attribute uh, MD list item. So I'm going to use anchors that have this MD list item. Um, and what each of these things is going to do is they're going to close the side nav. So I'm going to say side nav dot toggle. And you could say close as well. I just I just kind of say toggle everywhere. And what I want this thing to do is I want it to be a router outlet. Uh, so I'm going to use my a hyphen uh, router link. Uh, so that guy right there. And I'm going to have this one give myself a little more space here. Uh, have this one go to uh, slash. Uh, and this one is going to be called uh, all post. And then I'm going to make a copy of that um, and have it go to uh, just my post. So slash my post. Cool. And what this is going to do is it's just going to let us play with um, a little bit of our routing um, just, just for fun. Um, and so now when I click on this, you can see it says all post. And I click on this and it goes to all post. And if I click on my post, you can see it goes over to my post. Uh, so we've done just a little bit of routing um, and we've done it with this cool side nav thing, which I think is just super fun. Uh, eventually, we're going to need also a, a sign out button over here. So I guess we could add that now since we're kind of doing uh, navigation things. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a sign out on here. Uh, also, you can kind of divide it off a little bit. I'm going to stick an HR um, in here between them. Uh, and I'm going to say sign out. And sign out is not going to be a router link. Uh, so I'm going to kill the router link part of that. Uh, I'm just going to say sign out. Oh, another thing you can put on router links is you can put on that, that router active trick uh, and set a class on it. If you wanted to do that, you could. I'm not going to worry about it because that's something you know how to do. Um, and that just changes the CSS. So now I should have one that says sign out as well. So let's go back over and check that out. Uh, and you can see I've got this nice line, uh, and then it says sign out. Um, and you can make it look, and all sign out does is it just makes the nav go away for now. You can make it look however you want, uh, but I think that that looks pretty sharp. I think it's neat how many things you get for free uh, with Angular Material. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and look at our changes. Uh, the only changes we made uh, since our last check-in, uh, we're adding um, side nav items. Cool. Uh, so I think this app is going pretty well. Uh, we've got um, a little side nav. We've got some placeholders. Uh, come back next time and we'll add some more fun. See you then.